In this episode, some hacks you can use on your travels. You might find yourself sometimes when you're in a hotel room and you order some room service, but you've got no table to actually place your food on. All you need to do is grab the ironing board. I'm just gonna put a towel over the top so I don't dirty the ironing board. La. And use it as a table and you can eat comfortably without having to put it all on your lap or holding it up to your face. Now the problem is my food is cold and there's no microwave in the room. All you need now to heat up your food is an iron and some aluminium foil. Wrap the iron up with the aluminium foil, grab another piece and create yourself a little bowl. Now I just got to keep my iron nice and steady so it's not going to fall. I put my little makeshift bowl on top of the iron and then I put my food in there. Switch that on and now we just wait for it to heat up. It's working really well. You can see the steam on it. Wow, oh, I've got steam air. And then when you're done, just turn it off and then put it on your plate and it's ready to eat. Nice hot leftovers without a microwave. You can actually even cook an egg, my friends. I might have cooked it for a little bit too long. Nonetheless, it's cooked, <laughs> right? So say you're in your hotel room and you're craving some cup noodles with some hard boiled eggs. First of all, you're not gonna call room service because they're gonna charge you an absolute bomb for some hard boiled eggs. So solution is just to get your own eggs from the supermarket and put your eggs inside the kettle. And then just boil and wait. Is it switched on? Okay. I think my eggs are done. I'm gonna take it out and see how well they're cooked. A perfectly cooked hard boiled egg eh? that you can cook in your kettle in your hotel room. Check this out. I made myself a little guretara. So cute, right? This is a great way to keep your room service leftovers. All you need is your shower cap, which they provide at the hotel. Just place it over your plate. It makes a really nifty little cover for my leftover food, and I can come back to it later, and it's gonna be fly shit free. Well, this stops all the insects and dust and everything from getting into your food, lah, huh? Yeah. This hack is for those who have, who have, <laughs> This hack is for those who have forgotten their hair tie. So all you need is a shower cap, find the elastic-y bit, you cut the elastic bit out. It looks like a dog's breakfast, but it's gonna serve its purpose, right? I still think this is much better than using a rubber band because rubber bands Pull your bloody hair out all the time. So say you're on a holiday and you want to indulge in some snacks and you're unable to finish them and you don't have a clip. Don't worry because all you need are some straws. So you want to grab one of the straws and you want to cut it down the middle. Grab the other straw, fold the bag over the straw like that and then with your cut straw, you just cap it over the other straw. So that's all there is to it and it's not going to fall out anywhere. It's very secure so you can throw it inside your bag and it will be completely fine. I hope. So you know how sometimes when you're traveling and if you're wearing makeup and you forget to bring your makeup remover, don't do what I did many years ago, which is to get a cloth and scrub the makeup off with the cloth. And I ended up with two black eyes, man, which is not good luck. Anyway, nobody wants a black eye, okay? So a great way to remove your makeup is actually just using some conditioner. And all hotels have conditioner, right? I've got my eyeliner and then I'm gonna grab some conditioner, put it over the eyeliner, wipe it off and just like that it is wiped off see really really simple and you won't have black eyes Obacat. which means black eyes conditioner is not the only thing that works you can also use moisturizer or anything oil based that also works also conditioner is a great substitute for shaving cream so you don't have to do a dry shave which is also very handy to know so if you hate any kind of light peeping through the curtains when you're in a hotel room, when you just want to have a nice sleep in, here's a simple solution. Just grab a hanger, the kind with the clips. And with the clips, you just cut the curtains like this. So there you go, it is super dark now, and now we can rest peacefully. That sounds like dying. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, now it's really, really dark and now I can rest. Now if ever you're stuck with wet socks and you need them dried really fast, here's a really good solution. Just go to your hairdryer, place the sock over the nozzle 
and let it do its magic, baby. Hello? Wow, it's really hot. Oh my God. As you can see, it's drying really, really quickly. And now I've got a really hot sock. Huh? That took like less than a minute. Super fast, super easy, and now I'm ready to wear my socks. And we have come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise and we've got some stuff up on sale. So maybe you can go find something you like. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this video, subscribe, baby. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified each time a video comes out. Or you can just simply download the free Click Network app to watch most of the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah!